In this video tutorial, we are answering the 2018 paper 2 construction question, which came as question number 4. Straight away, we'll go ahead and read it, and then we begin to construct. The question says, construct a triangle XYZ in which XY is equal to 9 centimeters, yz is equal to 7 centimeters and angle xyz is equal to 38 degrees answer the whole of this question on a sheet of paper so we are going to be using uh, a paper here it's where we are going to answer the entire question all right so when we have constructed the triangle xyz we then answer question a2 for a2 which says measure and write the length of x, y, z. All right. So I have a pen here. I've got the long pencil, the short pencil, the compass, the protractor, and I've got a 30 centimeter rule here. And these are the instruments which we are going to use to answer the rest of this question. Quickly, let's begin. I'll start with a pen and I'm using a pen because I want it to be very visible just for the uh, small draft that I want us to work with as we construct. But when constructing, make sure you use uh, the pencil, not a pen. In the exam, make sure you use a pencil. All right, so we've been told construct triangle XYZ. So this is what we are going to construct. They want us to construct the triangle x y z so it will be labeled x y z and this triangle x y z the triangle x y z it x y is nine centimeters y z is seven centimeters and angle x y z x y z so it's this one formed here it is 38 degrees 38 degrees and when we construct that we are told to measure x y to measure and write x y so we don't know what this distance that that distance is um x z we don't know what x z is so we need to measure and write that one so we'll be finding xz and we'll be saying what it is there okay so let's construct that okay um our ruler is here we'll be using the centimeters since the measurements are in centimeters and uh i'll get the protractor and my short pencil here and I'll make sure I make it fit in that way. And I'll tie it, I'll fasten it so that it holds uh, without shaking. It should be fixed nicely. All right, wonderful. So uh, that is what I'll do. I'll begin to measure. So X, Y uh, is nine centimeters. So I'll, I'll use my ruler to measure nine centimeters there. I'll go to all right so that is nine centimeters so when doing this make sure that the measurements are correct any slight uh, difference will make your answer to be wrong so you can this is nine centimeters but when beginning it is okay in construction for you to just come and you say okay nine is there just indicate with a dot nine is there and the beginning is there all right so if you do that um uh, possibly you can also do this you can just indicate Can just do that possibly you 
in um, we indicate that this is our x and this is our y and then you say this is nine centimeters we've been told that uh, yz is seven centimeters so I measure you seven centimeters there that's seven centimeters so you stand on y and you do that you don't know exactly where seven the line for seven centimeters should be but you just uh, construct in that way we know that from this point to any point on that arc which we've created that uh, should be seven the distance from that point to any line on that arc is going to be seven centimeters all right now let's use our protractor to measure the angle so to measure the angle we get our uh, protractor there we make sure that the line that base line on the protractor should be should align with that line and this perpendicular line with the line perpendicular to the base of the protractor should be at the very end of the line x y which we just drew in that way so um, as you're able to see you align it that way now we are told to measure 38 remember in our draft we said the angle xyz that's 38 degrees so we are getting our 38 degrees from here so the line is coming from this side so we use the outer measurements so the outer measurements 0 10 20 30 40 is right there so if 40 is there then that eight should be there. That's our thirty-eight. So we've measured thirty-eight. Once you've measured in that way, so you draw a line from point Y all the way, uh, getting past the measurement of thirty degrees, getting past that point we drew there, and touching the arc. You touch the arc in that way so you know that z is going to be formed at that point at this point and where this point is touching the arc is where you connect to x that's why you connect to x so you indicate that is your seven centimeters and uh, we've come up with a new line we were, we were told that we need to measure and find out what xz is so let's measure and write xz so x is starting from 0 that's 5 5.5 so we see xz is giving us 5 0.5 centimeters so you show that xz is equal to 5.5 centimeters all right so we have constructed the first part of question four which was uh, you know question a asking us to construct triangle xyz that's the triangle xyz we've also answered the second part of the first question uh, which said measure and write the length of x y z now let's go to the b part of our question four and the b part says on your diagram within triangle x y z on your diagram this diagram we've drawn within triangle x y z construct the locus of points which are one six centimeters from y six centimeters from y and two equidistant from x z and x y equidistant from 
xz and xy all right let's go to our draft and see what we are being asked to draw so the the second part of this question b is asking us to draw a locus of point or rather to construct a locus of point is six centimeters from y so we are standing on y and we are going to construct a locus in that way and the distance from there going to y it would be six centimeters and the second part of this question says construct a locus of point which is equidistant from x z and x y so x z and x y x z and x y they're trying they're asking you to bisect there so x is common x is the common uh, factor of value there so you're going to cut across x in that way creating two parts of this triangle the xz section on this side and the xy section coming down in that way so those are the two constructions that we are going to create so it should look like that so now let's do this and let's apply it in what we are answering right there construct a locus of 0.6 centimeters from y again we are making use of our ruler let's come up with a six centimeters six centimeters one way to do your measurements easily you can use this guy uh, make sure you stand on six and just make it reach there that's six centimeters and then you can just do that put it away and just get your compass then and do that so that too is six centimeters okay that is six centimeters so let's now stand on our y and let's draw the six centimeters so that is six centimeters and we indicate in that way All right, uh, the next one says we're now drawing a locus of point which is equidistant from x, y, and x, z. And we said it should cut across x in that way. So we are going to use our compass again there. All right, our compass. So this is your paper. And uh, you can slightly move it to, to make it so that you are comfortable even as you are answering. The first thing you do, you stand on your x, seeing that x is the common value. So you, I will cut like that. Without changing, I will do the same on the other side. And I'm going to just slightly make it big. I want the two points to meet outside the triangle, so it will be slightly a uh, little bit bigger. Then I'll stand on my first point there. Again, make it slightly bigger. Okay, good. That way. And I'll stand on my other side there when the small arc was created. And all right, cool. And you do that. When you do that, where the two uh, arcs we are crossing, I will draw a straight line there connecting to X. Okay, so we have uh, drawn the two locus of points, one which is six centimeters from Y and one which is equidistant from X, Z and X, Y. We are, we, are, we are doing well. So far, so good. We are almost there. Let's go to the C part of our question. C says, mark clearly with the letter P within triangle X, Y, Z, a point which is six centimeters from y and equidistance from x z and x y so indicate within the triangle the point p which is six centimeters from y so this point p should be six centimeters from y so six centimeters meaning it should lie along this arc we created 
and it should also be equidistant from xz and xy it means it should also be along this straight line that we drew so one such point is where the six centimeters equidistant are locus and the equidistance of xz and xy are meeting right there that is what uh, our point p is that's where it's going to be so that's point p right here right here a uh, question d question d says a point t within triangle xyz is such that it's distant from y it's distance from y is less than or equal to six centimeters the distance from y it's less than or equal to six centimeters so it should be within this section of the equidistant all right or equal to six and it's nearer to x z it's nearer to x z than x y so one of the things that this line that we drew did it separates two areas below the line is nearer to x y above the line is nearer to x z so this point we are looking for it is less than or equal to six centimeters so we mean within this section but at the same time it should be nearer to x z one such line which we are looking for or, or rather area it should be this area this is the only area that is satisfying the two conditions which we've been given in the question so this should be the area labeled t so this area is uh, less than or equal to six centimeters and is nearer to xz than xy having done that you get the full marks which are assigned to this question